What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness and today in this video I'm going to talk about the opposite of the last video which is <clears throat> BJJ, uh, BJJ for Judo, how far should you go, right? Because in the last video I talked about um, Judo for BJJ so if you're a BJJ player then if you cross train in Judo, right? Then how far, how far should you go in terms of um, rank and belts, right? So I actually made a mistake in the last video. So I said uh, blue uh, brown belt, right? <clears throat> but the thing is, that's not, not that's not actually halfway. Like green belt is actually halfway. Blue is a little bit more. It's not even intermediate. It's slightly higher than intermediate. And you know, like w once you get to blue, you're you're like at I wouldn't say advanced, but you're between intermediate and advanced. And then of course, if you get your brown, then you're you're considered advanced, in my opinion, right? Okay. So now in this one. BJJ for judo. So if you're a judo player, right, I think it benefits you tremendously to learn BJJ. Like um, Travis Stevens, right? He's a uh, silver medalist at the Olympic Games. I forgot which one, but uh, he he was a judoka, right? And then of course at one point, I think he felt that he was lacking in the ground game, and then he went off and he started studying Brazilian jiu-jitsu, right? to improve his judo so that way when he gets on the ground and in, in, in his judo competitions and all that then he has uh you know more skill more technique and an advantage right so bjj for judo so if you're a judo player right <clears throat> i think that you should go get to at you should and if you're able to cross train then you should try to get to at least uh purple belt in my opinion so the belts are a little bit different in in brazilian jiu-jitsu you have a lot less belts right so you have you start off uh, white and then you end up uh, blue right and then after that it's purple brown and black there's really not that many belts so what that means is that it takes a long time before you get a belt man you know like a blue belt could take you anywhere between a year two years right before you get your blue belt. Blue belt depends on, of course, the individual, how often they train, if they compete or not, and of course, um, you know, how how fast they progress. And after that, it's also to the discretion of the coach, right? So a blue belt, so let's say between each belt, it's about two years approximately, right? So from white to blue, two years, from blue to purple, that's another, another two years or more depending on how often you train and and you know a lot of factors right so i think that if you get to a um a purple belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu it's amazing it's really good because then you have a lot more tools on the ground you know how to fight off your back you know how to uh you know attack you have a, a system a style that your identity so to speak you know you really get into the groove and that's gonna benefit you tremendously uh, in in judo. Of course, you have to adapt a couple of things, right? Because you gotta remember that in judo competitions, you don't have a lot of time on the ground. But I mean, still, it gives you quite an advantage because, well, you're more you have more tools. You're more specialized. You're more advanced on the ground than most guys, right? Most guys in judo don't really pay too much attention. Like if you look at a lot of the judo competitions stuff and stuff like that, right? What happens is that when when uh, when someone gets thrown, if it's not uh, epon right away, or even if it's or if it's uh, yeah, that's it. So if it's not epon right away, it continues. I, I mean, you could still score wazari, right? Which is like half a point, but then it continues on the ground. But then a lot of times, guys just like curl up. You know, they go on their stomach, and that's it, and they just wait. Or if they're on their back, they'll just grab the guy in the guard, and then they'll wait it out. You know, and it's not long. It's really not long. It's like. Uh, man, three, five seconds, boom, you're up. So that's why um, if you train in, uh, in judo, right, and you want to have an edge on the ground and you have the time, you know, and all that, then um, the time and the resources, right, to, to train in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, I think it's really, of course, you have to go to a club that's competitive too, right? And that's going to help tremendously in your BJJ game. So that's the belt that I think that you should go for, right? Because you already have a basis. So I think that it, it'll go relatively quickly, right? Once again, it depends on the individual, but I feel as though if you're a judoka, you already have some some uh, some fundamental 
uh, knowledge, some, some basis on the ground because judo clubs, they do do a lot of groundwork. It's just, we just don't spend a lot of time there, right? Um, not as much as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's why uh, if you have the opportunity to go to a good Jiu Jitsu club, then definitely train in Jiu Jitsu. And you know, like the more you progress in that, you're gonna see it's gonna help your, your Judo too. Because, well, that's the thing. A lot of times when, when uh, guys aren't used to in Judo, not, not everybody of course, right? But there's a lot of guys who, a lot of uh, Judo players where once they throw you and then they're on the, you get to the ground or like they fall to the ground, they just kind of, you know, don't do nothing. They just wait, to, uh, they just stall until uh, um, the ref uh, stops the fight and brings you back to your feet. So if you have a very strong ground game, I mean, you can take advantage of that. And also, let's say for example, in competition, right? Let's say you're, um, you're leading by points. Right, and you look at the clock, and you have about a minute left. So what do you do? Like you, um, uh, you know, you're you're fighting the guy, and then boom, he throws something, or you throw something. He doesn't really, you don't score epon, but then you could you could you could you could waste time that way, you know, going for a finish and uh, working and stuff like that. And at the same time, it messes with the guy mentally. Like if you if you're like going for it, you're really going for submissions because you know you're like, you don't care. You know what you're doing bah, 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 and you have the cardio of course and you're strategic about it. It's like that minute can go fast. So you could be fighting, fighting. And if you're up one point, boom, before you know it, time's up. Or, or let's say, you know, like let's say there's a minute and then uh, you throw them on the ground, boom. And instead of just like, okay, waiting and getting back up, you know, you're up one point and you're like, hmm, I just got a minute left. Boom, so you start working the ground. So then you attack, you attack, you attack. And as long as you're attacking, they won't let you, uh, the, the ref won't stop the fight, but you have to be attacking, right? So if you have a strong like uh, basis on, on the ground, man, you're just attacking, you're doing this, you're doing that. And then after that, next thing you know, you stand back up and maybe you have a couple of seconds left or maybe you were able to finish it and boom, you won the fight. So, you know, it's, it's not always about, um, uh, you know, getting that epon too. It's, it's strategic. Like if you want to win competitions, right? Like you have to understand the rules, the timing and stuff like that. And that comes with, uh, uh, you know, time. It comes with experience and it comes with uh, having a good coach who, you know, like uh, explains to you like what you have to do, you know? Uh, of course, if the coach is looking at you and he's like, oh man, okay, stay on the ground, stay on the ground. This guy's, you know, like uh, you have a better chance or whatever, then you do that. But if let's say you're completely dominating because the thing in judo is that listen, if you're even if you're 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 up by points, right, and then you stand back up, and the guy at the last minute, like you know, you're up like uh, uh, you're you're up uh, you're up uh, you know some points, you're up a couple of adva advantages, and then boom, the guy just throws you epon. It's done. You you lost. So that's why ground is is important, man. You know, ground is super important for even for judo players. So that's why I suggest that if you train in BJJ, it's going to help tremendously. And the level, I think the minimum level, I think that you should uh, strive for, right? For proficiency is the purple belt, right? So purple belt is pretty advanced. And um, yeah, of course, if you have to adapt a couple of things, you know, so that uh, it, uh, it works up. Uh, it's more adapted for your judo competitions, but that's my opinion on it. And I, I know it's... Um, it's a little bit, might be a little bit discouraging for some people because it takes so long, right? But uh, it depends on the school and a whole bunch of other factors. But hey, what else are you gonna do? You know, like uh, if you're into grappling and you wanna perform in judo, then yeah, you have to have a good ground game, man. You know, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope that made sense. And um, to get back to what I was saying in the last video, I made a mistake. So, so blue belt is not, in the middle you're not halfway you're actually more than halfway so that means you're between intermediate and advanced and then brown belt well you're advanced you know and then of course black belt you essentially mastered all of the um all of the basics and um yeah so i apologize for that little mistake oops but you know i think you guys understood like what i meant uh in terms of that so definitely if you're a bj uh a judo player you should in my opinion learn the ground game too, right? Because they're super sophisticated. If you go to a good club, good competitors there, man, you're gonna, you're gonna learn a lot and it's gonna help your, your judo game too. Um, so that's it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe and click on a notification bell. And uh, that way you're noticed when I make other videos. And that's all I talk about here. I talk about fitness, of course, right? 
because uh, I think it's a very it's 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 a very integral part of you know martial arts. Like you have to be fit, you have to be in shape, you have to be strong, flexible, and all that. I'm also a personal trainer, and of course I talk about martial arts all the time. Um, mainly uh, a lot of grappling because that's my specialty, right? Like I'm uh, I've been doing judo for five years now, and uh, I'm a brown belt. And I was I was going for my black, and I still compete by the way. Um, but I was going for my black until this whole thing happened, this quarantine. Um, so when that's when this whole thing is done with and we're back to normal, so to speak, then definitely gonna go back, get my black belt, right? And after that, I plan on continuing competition. I want a title, a national title or an international title. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys follow me along. And uh, that's what I talk about, man. And of course, I, I've done a lot of martial arts in my life, right? I'm 41, so I've been around a little bit. And um, I just settled on for now, you know, like my focus is mainly judo, but I've done Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for, for about six years, right? Uh, blue belt, I changed clubs, so I think I, that, that affected definitely me getting my purple belt, right? And I also did Taekwondo for three years when I was a kid. Um, I also did Kung Fu for two years, and of course I dabbled around in boxing, uh, Muay Thai, wrestling, you know, all the fun stuff. And uh, there's still a lot of other martial arts I'd love to try. It's just that it's a question of time and money. So eventually, that's what I hope to do is to grow this community. And then if I can make some money off this and, and uh, you know, personal training, do some, doing stuff online, then of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend my time training and competing. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, stay along for the ride, man. All right, peace.